Welcome back to The Answer. It's your man, Dell. Clubhouse got the best damn detectives on the planet. They didn't crack Dolph's case, a couple other cases. And I'm on Clubhouse now and I hear about Bandman Kivo with some inside information that he's allegedly a government informant if you look him up. I'll let you hear the conversation. Putting dirt on somebody's name is real risky. So I'm saying allegedly, I'll let y'all hear the conversation, be the judge. But that clubhouse thing, man, y'all gotta be careful, boy, because they be on it, man. Feds don't even have to do nothing. All they gotta do is log in and listen. Thanks for checking out the video. Like, share, subscribe. Help the platform grow. Alright, law enforcement has obtained information about the operation of uh cracking cards. That's the operation they call cracking card schemes from among other sources, a cooperating witness. The CW has been charged by the complaint in the Northwest District of Illinois and what's this? Man, what's this? in relation okay, in relation to the CW's involvement in a cracking card scheme. The investigator of the Northern District of Illinois is related to the investigation in Northwest District of Indiana and law enforcement has been working together on these investigations. The CW is operating in law enforcement with the hopes of operation will be <clears throat> uh, condemned by the government in the uh, recommended of lawyer of a lower sentence. The CW has no point in criminal convictions. I have no prior criminal convictions. The informant provided CW with cooperated through the witness interviews and the review of financial records. I believe that the CW has provided reliable information about cracking card scheme. So it's on folks alert. So he was a federal, he was a documented federal informant. So if you go look on the folks alert, F-O-L-K-S alert. Real quick, I want to add some context to what you are about to hear. This is from earlier this year when allegations came out, right? Now we got the whole poetic Flacco, 16 spot them. They on death of the Kellogg chaser right now as we speak. And so the whole band man Kivo being a snitch thing is coming back up. But you're listening to Big C, who I told you is the WAC 100 of Memphis, so to speak, in terms of the connections. Wait till you hear what he has to say. Just the answer. Let's get back to it. They got the boy pitch up there. Holy shit. That's crazy. That shit didn't hit the air. I'm telling you what's so crazy, though. This is the only thing I hate about, like, a lot of people know me. I hear so much dirt on niggas, bro. It's like some shit. If I, I blow, I break the app. If I just start telling the truth on these niggas. It's like some shit to be. But also, ho, y'all gonna hear about some, some high-profile snitches, too. That nigga that had to been a rat, though. I ain't gonna cap. Bro came home already touching a hundred and two hundred. No cap, like bro. Nah, he, 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 he was he was wild. Yeah, bro came home on that shit already. Letting I'm people know how this. to uh how to uh do that shit. So it do kind of make sense, like. Yeah, how the fuck you come home already up? Like he was already up touching like shit. Bro. Like he be telling folk, bro. Just like you cannot use. EINs and CPN numbers, bro, to go ahead and do that. That is illegal. Now, I've been knowing about this shit since 2001. You know what I'm saying? So he's like trying to say you're putting people on game and shit like that. Like, I personally, like, I'm like, okay, bro, bro, just doing too much shit wide ass open. You know what I'm saying? This shit's like, this one of them too good to be too good to be true type things. The stuff that he's saying, man, y'all sign up for my this, that, and the third and all that. Man, anybody subject sign up for that shit that nigga doing, then he's actually giving. You got to pay to get some schemes. You know what I'm saying? Get on some call. Man, please, you don't know the nigga to turn your information over or not? Yo, that's crazy. They go back to playing in the streets. This nigga was, yo, this nigga jewelry gang, that nigga was coming out busting like. Man, I'm going to tell you something. All right, this is, this is why I've always... I ain't never hated on the nigga, nothing like that. But I was like, okay, bro, ain't never in one spot. He ain't never in one spot. Go look at his videos. He's always in a different place. Always. He's always in a different place. I learned this right here, man, years ago. So, and I had an artist I was managing. And he told me, he said, man, you want to hear some shit, bro? I said, what? He said, man. 
Do you not know that a certain rapper, he was under investigation from the Fed, and they told him he had to turn in every place, every promoter that booked him for a concert. He had to turn in their name, this, that, and third, all that, so they can under, they can investigate that person. So a lot of times, just think about it. So everybody, you know, when a person go do a show, all right, you get your they wire you your deposit up front, right? When you go get your back end, the back end is normally more over than ten thousand dollars, right? Do y'all know about law? You have to fill out a, I think it's a ten forty five. It's a it's a IRS form. Any time, just like if you go to the bank and withdraw ten thousand dollars, they want you to fill out that form. Yeah, yeah, because uh, yeah, once they hit ten grand, right. yeah. Anytime any transaction over ten grand, that form must be filled out. Yeah, that's a fact. I remember I took out I took out like fifteen one time. They, they had to no, I think it was twenty. I had to come back the next day to get it. Damn right, they had to fill it. I had to come out. back they the next day to get that shit. I was like, how the fuck I can't take my money out now? But you had to fill it for them. I leave it right there so they can go ahead and check your order. I remember that shit, yo. Any nigga be telling me that we getting bread? I just like, no, you did. Lying, nigga. Damn nigga, lying. They tell us shit the nigga don't know. I just that whole that ass told me come back the next morning. We don't have enough. I said, how you don't got enough? What are you talking about? It's a bait. They got it. They just gotta register it. They had to run it through. They had to run ahead to check your orb. Hey, that shit do make sense. Think about this. What happened if I was a nigga know how to crack all that shit and I get called up? You don't think them niggas coming in there asking me how to offer me a job to work with them and shit? You don't think they be doing that to them niggas? Yeah. That's real smart and shit that know how to do that shit. Right, most yeah. dudes that work, most dudes that work a lot with got certain government jobs and certain, certain private firms. Those private firms were former people that were crooks. Who else better tell you about how to do a crook than a crook? No, that's it. No, that's it. Yeah, man, you can't just like, I, I want to tell you, but if you out in these streets and you messing with that that powder and you messing with with a bunch of pills, whatever you're doing, bro, man, you better watch who you buying it from and watch who you selling it to. Because you don't even know your partner probably got picked up that morning. And then that's the thing about it, see? You don't know when a motherfucker gets stopped late night. You know what I'm you saying? You don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you. Thanks for tuning in. Yo, keep your eyes out for this one. The 16 shot him, the poetic flocko, the band man allegations. And check out Death of the Cloud Chaser and uh, Big Chuck over there. They got a crazy conversation going on right now. Chicago is going at Poetic Heart about this whole situation. But I appreciate it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Dell. The answer, we out.